it given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business Not because they want to do it, just because they hurt Hey you guys, it's your boy 3 and I'm over coming back with yet another video. So, today we're going to go ahead and yet do another er, Jeep mod. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install the mod we're going to do today. I got two different items we're going to do. So, we're just going to throw both of these items into one video because they are both, well, pretty easy mods to do. So, the first one being a set of LED taillights. Right here, they are firebug taillights. I will also put a link down in the description for these as well, so that if you decide you like them, you can go ahead and order a set of them for yourself. Second video, second item we will be installing today is these. They're door inserts. Now, yes, I know they're red. Jeep's blue. They're not staying red. I am going to paint these before I put them on the Jeep. So it's probably the first thing I'm going to do right now. Get them painted so that way they sit here and dry while we're doing the taillights. Then when we're finished with the taillights, we can put these on. I think we're going to paint these white because, well, the theme of the Jeep is going to be blue and white. So, that being said, if you guys help me out, go ahead, hit that like button. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of these taillights. And if you ain't done it, man, go ahead and help us out. Hit that subscribe button. We're going up all of 2020. Stay, you know, up to date with all the great content we're going to have for you guys coming 2020. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and roll ahead and get right up into this video. Alright, so like we were talking in earlier, take the original taillight out. All I think you need to do take the screw out right here. The screw out right here. So let's go ahead and unscrew those. Get them nice and loosened. Loosen the bottom one. And don't lose the screws because it does not come with new screws. Here you're going to reuse your same original screws that you've taken out. So make sure that you keep those. And the two screws that you see on this side over here, you don't have to worry about taking them out. They don't go into the truck itself. They just don't do what I just did either and drop your screws. They just sit there. So once you got that, you kind of just wiggle it around a little here. Break it free, like that, slides right out, and you see there's two harnesses, okay, there's only one harness. So you're just going to disconnect this harness, I'm going to set you guys down, disconnect this really quick. So you can see, disconnected. Now, let me show you guys what we're working with here. Oh. So with the new tail lights, they come with this little resistor I guess and they come with a bracket so the first thing you need to do 
take this resistor. It comes with all the screws for this. And screw it to this bracket. So let's go ahead and drop these little screws in here quick. Like so. These screws have nuts on them too, so be careful. They're really small. Probably the kind of nuts where if you drop them, you're never going to find them again. Put the other screw in. And go ahead and tighten them up. Alright, now you see, I got my bracket mounted, like that, and it's going to come with a couple of these little black clips that you're going to use to hold this bracket on the truck. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clip this up there quick, and then I'll grab the camera and I'll show you guys where it's going to go. All right, so I got the camera all flipped up here. You can see these little clips here and the brackets right there. You just stick the bracket up against the truck, use those clips, squeeze them on there. The reason I had to cut the camera really quick is these are a little bit too spread wide. And if they are, just grab yourself a set of, you know, some needle nose or something. Squeeze these a little bit. That way they bend them tight and whatever. That way you ain't got to worry about no slack or nothing falling. So, you know, just get him over there like that. You take your light, your harness, your factory harness. Plug them up. Go until they click. No click yet. Push farther. There we go. I heard a click. And that's it. Now you can see, you can't see because they got wrap on them. Like we were talking before, those screws on the one side you don't have to worry about because they're already in there. That's what holds your lens on. The only holes that are right there. That's what you got your factory screws for. So I'm going to go ahead, click them up really quick, and then I will uh, touch right back. Actually, I'll just set you guys up and you can watch. Like this again. Alright. So. Pull your little shrink off. Get 
them on like that. Put the screws back in. Get your screwdriver. Make sure they're nice and snug. Obviously, you don't got to go like torquing them down or nothing, but you know, make sure they're snug. You don't want to be hitting a bump or you know, whatever off roading, whatever you're doing with your Jeep. All of a sudden, they just fall off. Like I said, these are on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description for them. So if you guys said you want to get you a set, you can go ahead and you can get yourself a set of these. They are actually really price friendly. Oh, got you guys all zoomed in here. I got you guys, uh, I mean, they're all priced really good. I think they're like $55 or something like that. You can see I already got this side on. Let's grab the old keys here, hit the button so you can see what they look like. Like I said, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. Helps us out. Yeah. See, they both work good. They're both doing the same thing. So, let me know what you guys think. Drop it down in the comments. I know I was talking about we're going to do these as well in the same video. So, I'm going to finish trying to get these ready. Oh can't get them to focus. You can see they're not red no more. I'm sanding them down. That way they'll sit in here. We're going to paint them blue to kind of match the Jeep. They'll go right in there like that. So I will touch base here with you guys in just a minute.